types of sampling. In this module, you will learn about random sampling and its types, non-random sampling and its types. There are mainly two types of sampling, the random sampling and non-random sampling. Random sampling or probability sampling means selecting a sample by chance, not by choice. It is a method where each item of the universe has an equal chance of getting selected. Random sampling could be either unrestricted or restricted. Unrestricted random sampling is also called simple random sampling. It is used when the items of the population are homogeneous in nature. The common methods of exercising simple random sampling are lottery method and table of random numbers. Lottery method is the simplest method of selecting a random sample from a finite population in which elements are easily identified and can be numbered. In this method, a slip is made for each item of the universe and someone who is neutral is asked to select the required number of slips at random. The slips drawn will constitute the sample. One can start using a random number of table from anywhere, that is, any page, column, row or point. Suppose a sample of 10 items is to be selected from a total of 200 items. Here, the largest serial number is 200. Therefore, a three-digit random number table is to be consulted in sequence. The random numbers greater than 200 will be skipped since there is no item number greater than 200. Thus, the selected 10 items are with serial numbers. The simple random sampling is a very simple method of sample selection. It is equitable and free from personal bias but it is not suitable when the population possess heterogeneous attributes because proportionate representation of different items in the population may not be possible. These days, simple random sampling is commonly used in various circumstances like when the election takes place, the TV news channels provide election coverage. They also try to predict the result. This is done through exit poll, wherein random samples of voters who exit the polling booths are asked whom they voted for. From the data of sample of voters, the prediction is made. Strata means a group containing the items which have similar attributes. In stratified random sampling, the whole data is stratified, that is, distributed in various groups on the basis of affinities. Then, the required sample is collected from each group at random. The basic merit of stratified sampling is that the selected sample is a representative sample. Cluster sampling is also known as multi-state sampling because under this method sample is taken out at various stages. Suppose we have to select a sample of 1000 households from Madhya Pradesh at the first stage. The state is to be divided into districts and a few districts are selected at random. Then each district is divided into villages and few villages are selected at random. In this way the size of the sample keeps on reducing. Non-random sampling is done on the basis of convenience and judgments of the investigator and not on the basis of probability. In non-random sampling method, all the units of population do not have an equal chance of being selected. Here, the sample is selected by choice 
not by chance. There are mainly three methods of non-random sampling. The first is the judgment sampling. As it is clear from the name itself, in this method, the sample is selected by the investigator by applying his conscious discretion and intelligence. The second method of non-random sampling is quota sampling. It is a blend of judgment sampling and stratified sampling. In this, the population is divided into various groups on the basis of resemblances in attributes. And then, quota is fixed for each group. From these groups, the investigator can select the required sample by exercising his discretion. Convenient Sampling In convenient sampling method, the sample is selected purely on the basis of convenience of the investigator. Thus, results obtained by this method are not truly representatives of the universe and are unsatisfactory. This method is used when the universe is not well defined or sample unit is not clear or complete source list is not available. Let's recall what we have learnt. There are mainly two types of sampling, the random sampling and non-random sampling. Random sampling or probability sampling means selecting a sample by chance. It is a method where each item of the universe has an equal chance of getting selected. Random sampling could be either unrestricted or restricted. Unrestricted random sampling is also called simple random sampling. It is used when the items of the population are homogeneous in nature. The common methods of exercising simple random sampling are lottery method and table of random numbers. In lottery method, a slip is made for each item of the universe and someone who is neutral is asked to select the required number of slips at random. The random numbers table can also be used to select a simple random sample. They are generated to guarantee equal probability of selection of every individual unit in the population. Under restricted random sampling method, certain restrictions are placed while obtaining samples from the universe. However, the sample is taken at random only. In stratified random sampling, the whole data is stratified, that is, distributed in various groups on the basis of affinities and then the required sample is collected from each group at random. In systematic random sampling method, all the items are numbered and then every nth item from the properly arranged universe is selected for the sample. The value of n depends upon the total number of items in the universe and the required size of the sampler. Cluster sampling is also known as multi-stage sampling because under this method, sample is taken out at various stages. In non-random sampling method, all the units of population do not have an equal chance of being selected. Here, the sample is selected by choice, not by chance. There are mainly three methods of non-random sampling, judgment, quota and convenient sampling. In the judgment method, the investigator consciously using his judgment selects individual items of sampling. This is also called purposive or deliberate sampling. In quota sampling, the population is divided into various groups on the basis of resemblances in attributes and then quota is fixed for each group. From these groups, the investigator can select the required sample by exercising his discretion. In convenience sampling method, the sample is selected purely on the basis of convenience of the investigator. Thus, results obtained by this method are not truly representatives of the universe.